Okay, here's our next project. So this is a deck cabinet that I built about 30 years ago when we built the deck. So the deck's doing okay. It's seeing better days. I need to restain it and do a couple fixes like over here. This end of this board is uh, rotting. So this is all uh, redwood that was bought in the 80s when you could buy really good redwood for not too much price. So the wood in here is pretty uh, irreplaceable. But anyway, this is also redwood. But to make these doors, I didn't want to have a bunch of screw holes come in here. So what I did was, I'll show you on the one that's still pretty good. I used some half inch uh, indoor outdoor plywood as a backing and I glued these boards to it and then screwed from the back. Little short screws to keep them in place. So this, this, this uh, set of doors is fine. But for some reason this door got more water or something. So this, this rotted out on top here. So this is what it looked like. So the redwood is basically okay, just that the it was glued and then the half inch plywood uh, rotted finally. So it's pretty much rotted all the way down the side here and on the bottom. This bottom actually is pretty good. On this side, the top is okay, uh, but down at the bottom, the bottom is is uh, rotted out. So. I thought about trying to patch it by just replacing sections of this, but it would be easier just to get another another sheet of half inch uh, interwatcher plywood and replace uh, both sides of this door just to bring it back up to snuff. So, so the first thing we need to do is remove these doors and then um, we want to try to save, got to save this redwood. So we got to try to get this redwood off of the board. Now the part that's rotted is going to be easy, but the other part is glued, so now I think about it, we, may as well, we may end up patching it because it's going to be too hard, maybe too hard to get the unglued, the unrotted part off. So first thing to do is we'll take the doors off and then we'll see what we got. So right now with this deck, you've seen some other videos. This is where we store our generator. <laughs> All right, got the doors off. So I think these are four feet tall. Let's just double check. Yeah, so 48 inches tall and just under two feet wide. So what I did was I, I had one uh, four by eight sheet of half inch indoor outdoor plywood and I made four doors out of it. So anyway, uh, this is the one on the left. Only the bottom is rotted. Again, I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, replace both of them because who knows how long, how much this rod is, you know, spread up through here. I did stain them as you can see. So I thought that would keep a water secure, but it didn't. So anyway, th 30 years is a pretty good lifetime for wood outside. So I'm not too ha unhappy with that. That's right, so we gotta take all these screws out and I think we're gonna make sure we save the boards in the right location so we can put them back with the same holes. Uh, put brand new holes in them. So that would be kind of tricky. I'll just make. I'll probably bring another table out here to lay out the other one, and then we'll have each each uh, door will have its own table, and then we'll keep it, keep everything straight. So all right, I'm going to go ahead and take these boards off, and we'll put them on. Uh, we'll save these boards in whatever order they were in. So all right. So one question is still whether these uh, redwood boards will come off of this half inch plywood because it was glued in the past. So we're going to take some of these screws out and see if we can get it off. Oh, I'm using uh, safety glasses. If I'm using power tools, you should use safety glasses. Just a simple, simple rule. These don't want to come out. They come out by hand, but since the wood underneath is rotted, it's not really binding to get it to come out very easily. So once we get in farther out, it's OK. So we'll use this little uh, pry bar to lift up, lift up the bottom of the screw, so it'll come out when we unscrew it. Like that. See. All 
try and see if one of these boards will come off. It might be under the... I think it got past the... Uh, yeah, this one came off. Okay, so whatever glue was on there, the wood underneath it is rotted. You can see the wood glue there. And um, so if we unscrew these, they should all come off. All right, so I'll go ahead and finish that up. <laughs> you can see how bad this is rotted out. I'll go ahead and finish that up, and uh, we'll, have to, we'll probably sand the back of these, make them smooth again. That would make, that'd make a lot of sense. So I'll get my sander out. Belt sander, probably. Or maybe my uh, orbital sander. Sand these off, try to get as much of this rotted wood off the back of this road, because the redwood itself is in good shape. You can see there's the end grain. It's fine. So This is this was grade A redwood with no knots in it. So th this is even more harder to get these days than even the great we used for the deck board was called uh, grade B, I think, which has some knots. But this was all grade A. This, this is like, you know, doing furniture with redwood. So. Anyway, I'll finish getting all these boards off and then we'll I'll show you how I'm going to clean them up. All right, it's the last board. So I worked very carefully. Again, this, this redwood is irreplaceable. I don't want to try to find this again. I don't think it's available. So uh, I used my pry bar and just gently went under the edge here, pry it off the glue. So you can see the glue pattern, is a you know, crisscross glue pattern. So uh, since this wood is you know, compromised, and this redwood is basically good as new, I did stain it, so you know, it kept in good shape. So I'm having second thoughts about getting some more plywood. I might try to use um, uh, redwood 2x4s. I'm going to look into that. Just give me a second to try to figure that out. Okay, so I thought about some more, and I don't really want to go with this plywood thing again. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, these old 2x4s. These are probably left over from making the deck, so they're 30 years old too. They've been sitting out in the weather. They're still good. They still have a lot of integrity to them. So, and they've definitely stood the test of time as far as not rotting. Uh, so, uh, I can I can put these as two uprights on either side, and then screw in from this side down into the nice redwood in the front. Of course, I'll glue it again. So, so it's so more like a traditional door that you make like this, where you may have two uprights. It's nice you have a diagonal. I don't have enough wood for that, but I'm not sure that's necessary. These aren't that big. These doors aren't that only less than two feet across. So I think that should work. These have a lot of integrity, so they're not going to be bowing or anything. Big deal is to get all this uh, residual material off the back, so I'll be using the same. If I had a planer, I could make short work of this, but I don't. And some of these boards are not quite four feet long. They're like 45 inches long. So rather than buy some new wood, which I only want to do, I have enough extra pieces, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll put two, I'll, I'll cut these down the middle and then s spread them out so that they, I have a couple pieces that are long enough, but the other two aren't. So. For two of the boards, probably the boards that are on the um, hinge side, I'll use these full length boards. And for the opposite side, I'll cut these in half and then um, use the other scrap pieces I have to uh, uh, fill in the middle. So there'll be um, a board like this that goes part way and then there'll be a gap in the middle. Then I'll have another board next to it that'll cover that gap and keep the integrity. So. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out and keep looking up.